Right. Break away from darkness to light, Sri Mevan Jai Sundara. Seventeenth March, nineteen ninety-six. Can you remember the date? The day when Sri Lanka won the ICC Cricket World Cup. As every one of you, I too was overjoyed with happiness until my mother knocked at my door. Contestia, ladies and gentlemen. When I opened the door, my mother came running towards me, knelt down and embraced me. Tears were running down her cheeks. Her usual joy and smile were nowhere to be seen. I was so confused, I asked my father, Father, what's wrong with my mother? In his usual tone, did he reply, and there's nothing to worry, she is okay. However, the very next day, I overheard two of my relatives speaking to each other on how hard it would be for my father to raise my sister and me without a mother. Then I got to know that my mother was diagnosed with a terminal cancer of advanced stage. And according to doctors, she would not live for more than two months. I could lose anyone in this world but my mother. The times I ran into her arms, the times I slept on her lap, the times she fed me, would all be over soon. Days passed by. My mother was getting weaker and weaker. In latter days, she could not even get up from her bed without help. She vomited more than 30 times a day after getting the chemotherapy treatment. Ultimately, she became a shadow of her former self. Yet, my father was highly spirited bottling up all his emotions. One night, one night I can remember my mother holding my sister's hand and whispering in a broken voice. I wish, I wish I could live to see my lovely princess marry one day. Seventeen years later, 2013, wedding bells rang for my sister. She truly looked like a princess. My father held her hand and walked her down the aisle. At the corner of the congregation, there was a lady wearing a turquoise blue sari. When my sister passed her, she whispered in a cheerful voice, this is the day I have been waiting for all these years. It was my mother, who recovered from what was said to be a terminal cancer of advanced stage. She was so happy, the very next moment she turned towards me and said, Son, next is you. Now you know the secret of her recovery. When everyone, including doctors, had given up hopes on her, my mother and father were determined to fight this notorious demon. My father, without panicking, kept on searching on cancer and found the ultimate medicine to fight it. The mind. In his initial research, he found that there is a strong correlation between alpha waves produced in our brains and the power of our mind. Now, these alpha waves have the potential to cure diseases. Something uh, doctors never said. Hence, an environment was created in a house to 
everyone's mind that our mother is going to be healed. Have you ever thought that your career would have come to an end after failing a crucial exam? Or have you ever thought that your life would have come to an end, your partnership would have come to an end after a big fight with your partner? Or have you? Have you ever thought that your life would have come to an end after being diagnosed with a terminal illness? Remember, when life challenges you, fight back. Challenge the challenge. Life is a dream. Realize it. Life is a challenge. Meet it. Make a wish. Take a chance. Take a risk. And break away from darkness to light. With over to you, sir. <laughs>